everybody. It's Kelly and I am back with another layout. So I'm starting with that heart paper and that is Illustrated Faith Seeds of Faith, the Birds of the Feather paper. That is no longer available. Um, it's no longer, um, it's an old collection. But I love the heart theme because these are photographs of me and one of my close friends from college who also happened to be a roommate of mine post-college and um, my boyfriend and then her husband and we got together for an evening out and discovered that not only do we get along but so do our significant others which was really awesome and I just it was such a fun outing I really wanted to use that heart paper. Then I have that green piece of paper from Doodlebug Petite Prints Limeade dot stripe and I was trying to figure out, I wanted to use a section of it, but I really liked just basically chopping off the, um, the branding strip and then adding it in this way. And I, I'm loving the combination of the blue, the watermelon, and the green. It was summer. It was very hot that day. Um, I think it does a nice job of emphasizing the outfits that my friend and I are wearing because she's got some green and some of that kind of peachy pinky and then some red color red color so I really like that the blue paper by the way that's the background is doodlebug petite prince swimming pool and it's the gingham lim linen swimming pool paper then I have this three by four card that I'm playing around with from creative memories it's a cut apart I don't remember what collection that was from I just had a cut apart of it but it is also an older collection from like a photo collection or something like that. I was thinking about putting it on the green paper, but I liked it a little bit better here so that it didn't stick out quite as much because it blends a little bit into that blue background. And then because my friend's top has some flowers on it and I remembered that I had some flowers in this particular book in kind of some of those colors, I am using the Maggie Holmes hashtag sticker book. And look at that, guys. Not only am I using acrylic or like see-through stickers, which just doesn't happen, I also used a banner. Like huge, two huge kryptonite things for me. So this was kind of a fun one as I did that. And I'm actually really liking the way I had those papers read so solid that it actually worked to do this. But I just loved it. And then I grabbed... Um, Another clear sticker that said you are a gem just because she is she's been a very a long long term um, Client or not client that too sometimes I mean not that she's a client But yes, I have clients that are long term, but not not that's not what I meant to say She's been a very long term friend um, Since college and then roommate post college so then I'm going to add in a few more things. This again is from that hashtag sticker book But now the sticker is solid and it says you and me so I just like that, you know, we were both, um, you know, that we, we get along so much and how fun that our significant others do. There's um, another sticker there from that hashtag sticker book that says, remember me. I'm going to really do this layout from that hashtag sticker book. I need to use some of these up. I probably have four of them and also know some of the larger Echo Park ones that I need to use stickers from. But they're great because they work with lots of different collections when you do that. And it was an inexpensive way. I think they were about $10 um, when you bought them from Hobby Lobby on sale. So I'm just going through and um, just um, kind of going through and looking at what's available to me to try to decide. I'm thinking about maybe putting another flower up there but I decided not to do that ultimately I thought it took it took too much away from the um the flowers on the bottom of that cut apart so there we go liking that a lot better And then kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to do up there. Found some heart stickers that I liked. And then ultimately decided to add in a darker one there instead. Instead of that really light one, which is a little, it was a little bit hard to see even in real life on the green. So I've got that, just about have that done. Adding in little... Um, thinking about adding in a little heart over there and at the bottom there. 
Ultimately, I decided to add that back up in here. That it was a little too distracting from. I like the way the flowers looked. Normally, I don't like acrylic or not acrylics, clear stickers when they're over other patterns. But even though that one is over the photo, I thought it worked really well. So then because I'm using a lot of clear stickers, which are very flat, I decided to add in some enamel dots for some dimension. So these come from Alta New. They're the Red Cosmos dots. And that as well. I really like how that looks. All right. I'm just adding three of each into these clusters. The different clusters. I didn't talk about that Think Happy um, kind of label tickety looking sticker at the bottom did come from that hashtag sticker book as well too. Okay. Almost done in it. They match that watermelon paper perfectly. All right, there's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back with another layout soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.